Uh, but no, I came home uh, to get married. Uh, I'm married. I like telling people I'm married because they're surprised um, <laughs> by that information. You know, yeah. When I walked up here, no one was like, man, I bet he got locked down quick. Um, he seems like a catch and a monogamy enthusiast. <laughs> That's a real thing. A lot of people assume I swing. Yeah. No, they see my moustache. Like, That's dropped some keys and some bowls, for sure. That's... <laughs> That's not raising money for anything. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, actually, I actually get to wear both uh, my parents' wedding rings. That's my dad's, that's my mum's. Relax, they're not dead, they're just divorced. Right, so both rings are available. <laughs> that's me in the middle, split them up. That's good stuff. <laughs> and it's accurate, because I'm an only child. You know, there you go. Um, but yeah, we're, we're married. Is anyone here married out of interest? I don't know, like the seven, yeah, fucking right, whoa, yeah. Three of you. Very modern. I yeah, love that. <laughs> Fucking dude, good of you to leave Marrickville to be here. I love that. Um... <laughs> no, so, um, what's your name, brother? Jay. You can go with Jay, that's Nah, fucking don't lose faith in me that quick. <laughs> you said it real fast one time. What's your name, sir? Jad. Rhymes with Dad. Your name is Jad? That's right. Fuck. Thank you for that rhyme. I never, I never would have got there. Like, in a thousand attempts, I would have been like, jazz, jats, jam. Then you're like, not even close, brother. Jad, nice to meet you, Jad. I'm Daniel, I'm the guy. Um, can, I, can I ask you a question, Jad? Um, do you ever have a male friend come up to you and tell you something and then say, don't tell your wife? Does that ever happen, Jad? Yes. Yes, it does. Do you tell your wife? Every single time. Fuck yeah, Jad. I mean, I've never heard that name before, but it sounds like what a guy with that name would do. Does anyone else, anyone else feel that in their heart a little bit? Being like, yeah, Jad's a fucking snitch, dude. <laughs> like, I, I thought it was like some cliche, but no, like, the second I got married, my male friends were like, hey, don't tell your wife. And I'm like, how can you still think you're above her? <laughs> in the hierarchy, you know? This is, this is a quarterly male friendship at best. Like... <laughs> How can you think, like I've never lost a male friend and had to divide my assets, right? That's never happened. It's like, yeah, me and Jad aren't boys anymore. Now they get to visit the pub every second Tuesday. Fuck off, right? Like, what are we doing? Supervised visitation of the schnitzel? Get the fuck out of here. When someone says, don't tell your wife, I'm like, man, thank you for reminding me of the first person I'm gonna tell because, and you know what I'm leaving in the story? The bit where you said not to tell her, right? That's staying in. You're a fucking snake in the grass, mate, and she's gonna know the truth. Because <laughs> the thing is, like, when a guy says that, it has not once been for my wife's benefit, right? It's never to protect her from sad information. It's never like, hey, Dan, don't tell your wife, but there is this genocide in China, and we can't do anything about it. Because <laughs> we owe them too much money, don't tell your wife, you know? I just keep it on the down low. It's never that. Is they've done something fucked and don't want two people judging them at the same time. That's all it is. I love that Jad is just nodding so hard right now. Being like, we have the exact same piece of shit friends. <laughs> when dudes said it's like, hey, don't tell your wife. I went to a massage parlor for a happy ending. Ended up paying extra for her to piss on me. Don't tell your wife. <laughs> Can I borrow a town? <laughs> Sorry, Jad's wife, what's your name? Kathleen? Catherine, fuck, I thought it was going to be weird again, and I apologise. <laughs> Catherine, fucking, there we go. That's, that's been a character in a novel. Um, <laughs> sorry, Catherine, have you ever had the same thing happen to you? Like a female friend say, don't tell your husband, don't tell Jad? Yeah. Did you tell him? Depends. Depends. <laughs> Catherine, this isn't fucking daytime TV. What was that noise? Everyone's like, ooh. What's under my seat? Nothing. Um, absolutely nothing. It's 10 p.m., you fucking cowards. All right. What does it depend on? I don't know. Nine times out of 10, I probably tell Nine times out of 10? You've counted? <laughs> You've worked out a statistical probability to the breaking of trust in your relationship? I mean, Catherine, the funny thing is, I fucking agree with you 100%, dude. You gotta, when, that's, sorry, that's the difference. When a lady says, don't tell your husband, don't. Don't tell him, because when women say that, it's for our benefit, you know, like, it's to, it's to help us. When women say, don't tell your husband, it's followed up by sentences like, yeah, because girth is more important than length. And you're like, whoa. 
Jad and I are standing there with our narrow confidence, you know, just, just getting skinnier by the syllable, right? We can't, we can't be too careful. <laughs>